Well, we've been to one hospital, the Royal Blackburn in East Lancashire, which came in for some very scathing criticism from the health secretary. It's one of the 11 that have now been placed in special measures. In the Commons, Jeremy Hunt singled out high mortality rates at weekends as one of the Trust's key failings. And he said that patients and their families complained of a lack of compassion from medical staff. We'll be talking to Mr Hunt in a moment, but first, our Home Affairs correspondent, Darshna Sonny, spent the day at one of the Trust's hospitals. East Lancashire NHS Trust, where the panel highlighted issues of poor governance. On the southern edge of the Ribble Valley, a former mill town, where seven years ago its residents were given a brand new hospital, the Royal Blackburn. Its managers have been trying to get foundation status pretty much ever since then, but today we're told that instead it's being placed in special measures. The NHS Trust that runs this hospital was accused of poor governance. Inspectors found inadequate levels of nursing here at weekends. But when staff raised concerns about high mortality rates on Saturdays and Sundays, they were ignored. Staffing levels here are a huge issue locally. There's been a political row ever since the A&E at nearby Burnley Hospital was closed and many patients feel that the Royal Blackburn has struggled to cope. And yet, Sir Bruce Keogh's inspectors found that patients and families complained of being talked down to whenever they expressed concerns. Arthur Renshaw was one of them. He says the hospital failed to diagnose his wife Linda's cancer after she had an x-ray there in 2008. She died two years ago, and Mr Renshaw has just settled a case against them and won compensation. The reason why I wanted me to carry on with this case was to stop it happening to somebody else. But obviously, it's not doing anything, is it? You know, I mean, the poor nurses, they run off their feet. They absolutely are. Bosses here at the East Lancashire NHS Trust say they recognise there's room for improvement and they welcome scrutiny. They were one of the very few criticised today to welcome in cameras. In fact, so enthusiastic were they that the medical director narrowly avoided a ticket for parking in an ambulance bay. We understand that at a meeting this lunchtime, managers highlighted the positives. Staff were also told that the Trust Chair, Hazel Harding, was retiring for health reasons. The Director of Nursing, Lynn Wissett, is also retiring. One man who won't be leaving, though, is the Chief Executive. But it doesn't inspire much confidence from the public. Things like, for example, it's saying that you've got higher than expected mortality rates, particularly at weekends. Yes, well, we've already ac uh, acknowledged that and we've already taken action. We've, um, we've taken action to improve the number of uh, medical staff that are, are on site at weekends, the uh, consultant medical staff. We've also implement implementing a new out-of-hours team of uh, doctors, nurses and paramedics. Russ McLean was so concerned about staffing levels after he was admitted to the hospital that he set up a patients forum. Like many we spoke to here, he hopes today's report will finally lead to change. The trust don't listen to patients. They are understaffed as a trust. They're spending £1.3 million a month on agency staff. Things are uh, not good at weekends and evenings. They're all validations of things that we've been telling the Trust over the past few years. The Trust is one of 11 that have been placed in special measures, which means another inspection will have to be carried out in three months' time. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News, Blackburn.